Wild Blues fans, game three, we're going to go ahead and do a quick one here because what more is there to say? I've been saying it in the first two games. I said it before the playoffs began. The key to this series, if you're the St. Louis Blues, is to bait the Minnesota Wild into the penalty box, beat them on special teams. But it looks like a team with a pretty good penalty kill in St. Louis is taking a few too many penalties and Minnesota isn't taking the bait for the second game in a row. So they figured out their game plan. Score five on five where the Minnesota Wild were the best team in the NHL, at least in the West scoring five on five they scored an absolutely ridiculous clip and they score five goals again five on five you gotta love that if you're a minnesota wild fan this is wild hockey i had wild fans on this channel saying no what brought us to a dance is being heavily aggressive and attacking other teams physically you don't want to do that stay out of the box against the blues you beat them five on five that's two games in a row that it's happened for you before we break down more of the game i want to say thank you to all the wild and blues fans who are subscribed here throw up likes on the video we just hit five thousand. thank you so much you guys are absolutely amazing look join our discord if you want to come chat with me it's free to do so likes are always helpful so are comments good bad or indifferent i love hearing from you I'll always like them respond to them and if you want a new way to support this channel we call it a super thanks it's down below it's got a heart little dollar sign into it it's like tipping your bartender it does go towards this channel if you could find it in your heart to help us create more videos. But if not, all the other freebies really help us continue going forward. So thank you so much, Wild and Blues fans. It's been amazing hitting 5,000 subs. The Grief Line scores goal one. There's not much to break down here. You know what? Colton Pareko, bad pinch. We've talked about this with the Blues all the time. They're one of the worst teams in the NHL at giving up shots. So at this point, Blues fans, you're either with me or you're just not agreeing with it. But at this point, you got to kind of start admitting like yeah, it's a problem. So a lot of the smart Blues fans that are on this channel have seen it as a challenge and it continues to be a challenge for the Blues. Wasn't a great pinch by Pareko. It's great that Scandell is back. We hear about injuries to the point on St. Louis. But you know what? At the end of the day, when you still have Krug, Pareko and Falk, I talk about it all the time. You only need three defensemen to get you through, technically two, because your top pairing is going to play so many darn minutes. So nice to have them back. But at the end of the day, I don't think it's a big enough excuse to really warrant everything in the last two games, but it's something worth noting. Anyways, the grief line and Jordan Greenway end up scoring a beautiful, just an absolutely beautiful cross the Royal Road, one touch goal. And it ends up one nothing on the first shot again in the first 30 seconds for Minnesota. Man, these guys scored a clip. More problems occur for the Blues. Only two minutes later, it's Kirill the Thrill. Kirill Kaprizov from Ryan Hartman. Why? Because of another cluster at the blue line and it's not at the blues blue line where you think it would be it's at the minnesota's blue line you don't want to turn the puck over in the offensive zone when you cause a goal like this at this point it's always a heartbreaker so you're two minutes into the game right now shot number two ends up going in remember last game shot one i thought it was shot two is shot three because it was a rebound two goals in the first three shots and now two goals in the first two shots best team at scoring five on five Rough team defense from the Blues. Huso looks a little bit shaken at this point. That's a tough one. And we all know what makes it the toughest. It's that you made the save. You went off your foot from behind the goal line. And that's pretty much going to be the game at that point. That's just an absolute heartbreaker, isn't it? The game finally settles down going into the second period where the teams start tying each other 17 and 17 in shots. So Flurry gets into a groove. Well, he never really left a groove, did he? Huso gets into a groove. Flurry remains on fire. Like, I know Wild fans were really down on Flurry going into this and into game one. I told you, this guy is elite. Just stick with this guy. Don't be like the Knights. Don't be like the Penguins. Don't crap on Mark Andre Flurry. He's your guy going forward. He's the right guy. He's the right guy to win a Stanley Cup. He is the guy that takes teams to Stanley Cups. He's the guy that wins Stanley Cups. What it's just what Flurry does. So he's the second star of the game. He only lets one goal in. Trust me believe in flurry he's the guy third goal for minnesota comes from matt zuccarello he ends up being who so high on the left side and how does it happen again it happens on a two-on-one you fake the pass that's going across it's not there you put Uso into the back of his net and again it's a turnover at the most inopportune spot and it's five on five again boy wow what a shot and that's three nothing 
Fourth goal happens after what we feel is 100 shots in front of the net. Again, St. Louis struggles to clear in their own zone. They struggle to prevent shots in their own zone. Minnesota gets a few chances. Puck ends up behind the back of the net. It squirts out to the top of the slot, and of course it goes in. There was no chance for Uso on this one. When a puck moves from below the goal line up to the top of the circle like that, it is really, really tough for a goaltender. So that's the fourth goal. The fifth goal is going to go in on an empty net. Hey, that's the end of the game, folks. That's a 2-1 lead to Minnesota. If St. Louis can't find a way to get the Minnesota Wild to start taking penalties and walk them to the box, I think Minnesota is going to end up taking this one. I was fairly confident that the Blues were going to get the over-aggressive Wild to really start taking a lot of penalties, but it looks like the Wild are very well coached because they are remaining heavily disciplined, and if they remain disciplined, this will be their series. 